Right, today we are working on painting down here. So I got my concrete floor in, which is nice. I got the man door in and garage door ordered, so that'll be nice when that comes in. So I wanna at least try and get this section here painted. And I'm gonna use this waterproof paint, uh, dry lock. So I don't have any moisture issues down here, but this is, I don't know about that far underground all the way. Oh, right in here, it starts sloping down. Same with each side. So if I at least get these three sides done in it, that would be great. I don't know if five gallons is enough, but we'll start on this. I figure I might as well video some of this. I didn't do any of the floor or anything. So yeah, basically I'm just going to roll on paint. So I guess let's, let's get... Right, so that first bucket made, I got two coats on the back wall and then halfway down each side. I was going to use regular paint on the rest of this, but I figure I might as well, I started with this dry lock, I might as well finish with it. So I went and bought another bucket of it. And yeah, we're just gonna work our way around. So that is the plan. So I guess I'm gonna get to doing that definitely brighten it up in here you can see 
a bunch of my mortar imperfections, so I'll have to fix that. But anyways, let's uh, keep on painting. All right, let's try this again today. So my buddy let me borrow this airless sprayer. I'm gonna see if it'll spray this stuff since I got the first coat on. Actually, this wall and this wall is good. I have one little light spot in there. I might hit it, but I'm curious to see if this thing will spray it. So let's uh, try to do that. Three blocks done all the way around. My girlfriend came out and helped do all the trim around the bottom and around all the conduit. So I masked this off. I'm gonna put some stripes around through here. And yeah, I got green and black. So I guess I'm gonna do this one green. I don't know if I put the black above or below. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look when it's done, but we're gonna try it. It'll either look ugly or it'll look cool. So I guess I'm gonna get to painting.
Right, so I like I like the color. And I had it all taped off real nice, but I guess all the little pieces of mortar let that paint run all the way down. So I guess I'll feed a little brush and touch all that up with white. And then I had a few run spots. We'll cover that up with white. But yeah, I think it uh, turned out pretty good. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the black stripe. I'm not doing that today. Either above or below, probably below. Just kind of something to offset it in here. a lot more work than I thought it'd be but it looks pretty nice in here almost kind of looks like I need another one up there but that'd be all right so anyways y'all probably wonder what I'm gonna do with the ceiling in here and I'm either gonna hang up OSB or drywall but I want to cover all this with license plates so that's gonna be a lot of license plates and that's where I need y'all's help. I need any kind of license plate. New, old, small, big, overseas, it don't matter. Because I want to see this whole ceiling covered with license plates. And there's a uh, P.O. box in the description. I might put it up on the screen. And for every license plate you send me, unlike most YouTubers, everyone you send me, I will send you one of these stickers. So just make sure the return address is right and I will send you one of these stickers for a license plate. So, I think that's a fair deal. I think it turned out pretty decent in here. Next video I do in, the next video I do in here will be building the workbench in this corner here. So, we are about ready to get back to turning wrenches on stuff. So anyways, y'all have a good day and uh, we'll see you in the next one.